I wish to serve Serapis further, if you have need. There is one thing. There has been food taken by the guards malignly in the name of Serapis. They take a tithe, then take double for themselves. They bring it to their arsenal and share it with their Philakitai. The people now starve. I worry it will get worse. Do not worry, priest. I will see the people fed. I will await among the people at the docks. You guards are supposed to uphold the law. Pathetic. This food will be put to much better use. This food will serve the people well. One cart of food, priest, as asked for. The Pharaoh's guards were happy to donate it. This Seni is more than I expected. The people will be served by Serapis today. May you walk lightly in his steps, priest. And you, Magi. Guards are everywhere. By Serapis. Priest? But why are you on the street? The guards discovered that I gave their food back to the people. Now they hunt me. I have a bounty on my head. Being a priest of light is a dark job in this filthy city. I can get you out of Alexandria, priest, if you like. But I cannot keep you safe forever. I ask too much of you, Magi. There is a small temple north of here that will take me in. Lakitai will be watching the roads, Magi. We must leave by the canal. There should be boats there. I will spew arrows on any who get in our way. Be like a moon, priest. Perhaps we can sneak you out without the guards knowing. You can come out now, priest. I... I've never seen blood before in such quantities. The devourer and Apep must be smiling. And the smell... The stench. You get used to it. Truly? No. Bayek, it is rare that priests are called upon to serve the people. And now I suffer for it. You are to serve the gods, priest, not the people. But is that enough? The gods have wants, needs, but so too do the people who walk the land. I fear that is a question best left for others to answer. This is where you and I part, Magi. I am a priest no longer. Lysander was my name. It will be nice to be Lysander once more, I think. Walk in peace then, Lysander. And you, Magi. Bayek. Thank you. The glory of the Rokas Hippodrome, the much loaded and short life beloved of Canopus, jealous fate. Senifa, is it you? Bayak? You sour facey one! <laughs> I. I am Claridas now. What are you doing here? Icarus was a thousand times better than you! Oh! Oh. Who's going to lead you greens now, Malakia? You're a babe at the teeth. You think you can win the Curses Magnus? <laughs> Horseshit! Leave Nikias alone. Igris's death was a dark day for all of us. Let him weep in peace. So, is Aya with you? Ah, hey, I'm alone. 
<laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> Ask my foot next time. <laughs> no matter. Join us at the tavern later. Hmm? <laughs> I saw you ride last month when five chariots all come. So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Bayak. How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Mm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah, I need another drink. <laughs> Pardon, Neb. I overheard Claridas say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring. Huh? Where are you taking me, Senefa? Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. You abandoned your name, your home. Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them. I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? Karen, uh. you have adopted their gods too. Aye. Clear the way! Hurry! Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I give up. Oh, the world is hard. You always looked down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. 
At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You chose this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cunt I want. Now you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. You alive? You are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you can roll onto the track and win races with no training? No skill? Piss on you. Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win, Claudidas, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide. You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. Enough has been said. <laughs> Let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. Nebeth, what grief has swallowed you? We... we came to pay our respects to Icarus. To make an offering for him. To ride victoriously in the next life. But... but... Shh. Gently now. I'm listening. Blue ruffians came at us. They jeered at our sorrow. And when my Halius spat in their faces, they struck him down. They killed him, then stole a bust of Icarus and ran. Now, my younger son, Icarus, has gone off towards the shore, chasing after those blue demons. I fear he'll join his brother. We came to mourn our hero, and now my family is destroyed. Please, my child, save my last son. Don't let his life end today. Go back to your home. Try to rest. I will find him and bring him back to you. <laughs> Quiet. I'm here to get you back to your mother. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. These sagging cocks stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great Sarioteer's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina green racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please. Find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. Death, you ignite their passion, Zikaras. Let's get you where you belong. Metai, you saved my son. A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus. 
Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. Roya, oh, where... You, Neb, are young and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the Pigeon Tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. The pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Blood. Still fresh. The railing broke when someone went over it. Lot of blood. Where's the body? Take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods! Ruya! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our Master of Arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. You poor... Poor girl. May you walk in the field of reeds. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. 
You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come! Try! You will pay, course! Was it Dimnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. Push your racket, auntie. You will... Neb, you look strong and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead. The last one, I think. And Mickey. Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Meketra, your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there's no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course. I will find it. The bandits are known as the Hungry Great Ones. May the gods protect you. What will I do now? Where were we? Oops. Will you free me? Let me get you out of there. Bless! Hurry! These bandits breed like rats! Now is not the time to stand! Thank you. But why did you save me? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homa, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? Ketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Huh. I cannot 
cannot believe it. The gods protected us. Ame Whoa. No! No! Pardon, Neb. I cannot sell any chariots today. Please forgive me. For a moment, I thought you were the sign of the Medjai, the lost protectors. I do. I am. What pains you, Nebet? My heart is broken. My truest friend, my husband, Erix, has been murdered. Tell me what happened. He was renowned for his work. A soldier ordered him to build war chariots for the Pharaoh. He was happy to do so. But when the soldier returned to collect, he only offered to pay half the agreed price. Erix refused, and the soldier cut him down and stole the chariot. If you are truly a Magi, will you help me get justice? Find the soldier and destroy the war chariot so he may not insult my husband's memory. I can do that for you. It is done. A sacrifice made to honor the builder who was cut down. Honorable Medjai, what news do you bring? I have destroyed the war chariot that Eric's made, and was stolen by the vile captain of Antilla. Your husband's memory is restored. There is no escape! The strong must clouds the air. Oh, the gods shame me, Neb. The Tanner is my husband. He carries that stench home whenever he returns from camp. Is he here now? By the smell, you would think so. But it's worse when he's around. Do not let it trouble you. We all must do work we do not relish. You are right. My husband works hard, but cannot keep up with the demand for his services. The Medjai are said to be legendary hunters. If you would like to earn some good coin, go and see him. I'm sure he could use your help. Hmm. I will consider it. Where would I find him? His hunting camp? is north and west of Sao. He'll be tanning hides for a few days. If only there was some way for him to deal with the stink. Whoa. My thanks, Traveler. I did not expect the gods to send help my way this day. I was afraid that beast wanted to eat me in revenge for my craft. What brings you this way? Your wife in Sao told me you might need a hunter. Yes, yes. Too much demand and not enough supply. I would be more than happy to pay you good coin for the hides I need, and for you to risk their teeth. I am listening. I need hyena ears, crocodile eggs, and vulture skulls. What do you do with vulture skulls? Many priestesses of Iset used them for headdresses. They pay well. Well now, what do you have for me? Hmm. I do not yet have everything you asked for. No matter. I have enough work to keep me busy until you return with what I need. Well now, what do you have for me? All that you asked for. Ah yes, good, good. And in fine condition. They will do nicely. Your pay. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, what? You think me helpless? I'm surprised to see a woman in your condition working so hard. The arrival of a child is a blessed event. Oh, I am no delicate lily. Oh, are you in pain? Ah, 
My little bean is just making herself known. My workers are so slow, I need to run over and check on them. Allow me, Nebet. Baba! Hey, boy! Can you hear me? What happened? The tunnel collapsed. Baba and Ipui are trapped inside. How can I help? Are you strong enough to clear the way? See if you can bring them out. Please, Neb. They are my brothers. Stay here. I will do what I can. I'm going to have to force a way through. Hey there. Are you hot? Ah, I twisted my ankle. My brother Baba was working further in. The tunnel collapsed. I don't know if he's alive. I will get you out first. Then find him. Careful. I think I heard a hissing sound nearby. Henchariat, look at Yahoo! Simba Ow. Ipui! I will help him from here. You need to go back and find Baba. Hurry! He might be hurt, or worse. Take care of him. I will find your last brother. Thank you, Neb. Peace, Majed. Forgive me for killing your green ones. There is no other way through. Are you hurt? No. I managed to squeeze in there just before it collapsed. I had no idea this was here. We were digging to reach the river. That place was probably part of the old temple. Do you need help getting out of here? I am fine. I am going to meet with my brothers and take a break. What is this place? A history of the lost keepers of this place. The sword is missing. I wonder if Mahe succeeded at the House of Circuit. Or whether his cause was lost there. Chief Nito, the well tunnel partially collapsed, but I was able to help the workers. My little bean and I are so fortunate you passed by when you did, Medjai. May the gods bless you a thousand times for your efforts. Take care of yourself. May the gods bless your little one. Who's there? I'm armed. I will hurt you so much the gods will sing stories of how badly for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the peace, friend. <laughs> I'm merely curious. There is little enough left of value. The jackals have already stripped the site clean. I read about an ancient battle between Mahes and Ochus, and wondered if it was here. This was where Mahes fought and died at the hands of Bago as the eunuch, and mentor the Rodian. You may have read my version of Ma'ani Jehuti. No? No matter. Do you know what became of Mahes' sword? The sword of Ptah, said to be sacred both to Sekhmet and Serket? No, but as I said, this place has long been plundered. The bandits stay north of here, so I stay far away. Thank you. I'll head north. Thank you, dearest goddesses. I will use this to keep the faith. Well, 
Welcome. Welcome to Little. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Litopolis. I never forget a face, and I have not seen yours before. You found it! Your new home! A miracle of a man's labor. The great work begins! No, th that's not You just don't know it yet. We give every new arrival a house. Only dig it out and help with the public works. A fresh start! I'm not here to live in these tough sands. Speak to some of our new inhabitants, like Nehi. He can tell you how liberating it is to leave the past behind. I cannot shed my past like a snake sheds his skin. Welcome, Nebet. The city of Egypt's future welcomes all. Is it true forgotten secrets are discovered every day? Happy Nits! By the gods! What am I to do? Peace, friend. What happened? The gods have cursed me. I lost my farm and my wife to my brother in Yamu, and now I've lost what little I owned. My cart got stuck in a ditch far from town. As night came on, I heard terrible roars, and I just left them. My poor oxen, everything I owned. Wh what am I to do? Roars? There are no large beasts in this region. I did not stay to find out. They were the last gift I got from my father. Kufu and Kiera, uh, and I left them there with all I own. When I am out that way, I will see what I can find. For now, do what you can on your new house. M my thanks. My house is to the right of the entrance to the temple. May you fly with the bright wings of Horus. <laughs> Good thing I came looking for you. I fear near he would be dead, and you'd be lying for it otherwise. Oh! Oh! Bayek! You found Kufu and Kiera. Today I cry tears of joy. Look how much you have done since I have been gone. I found something strange inside the house. It uh, arouses my curiosity and yet terrifies me. W will you look? Show me. As I dug out the main room, I found ominous writings on the wall. Old writings. I have no idea what they say, but it scares me in my bones. These are old, but incomplete. Too much is missing. Erased by time and sand. Do you... do you think it's a curse? I will ask around town. All right. What should I do? I don't know if I c can sleep here. You will be fine. You should speak to Ramesu. He knows everyone in town and everything that happens here. I'm sure he does. I've seen that dour face before. You've come for your house. No, I... You would clear a house in no time. Enough. At Nehi's house, he showed me strange writings. Nothing to worry you, friend. Three others have said the same thing, but these signs are too old to be made sense of. I will check with them. You are wasting your time, but as you will... Here in Letopolis, the city of Horus. Come, find your... Here is where 
Are you new here? Passing through, but looking into a mystery. Did you find ancient hieroglyphs in your house? Didn't everyone? Didn't worry me much. Why? Does it mean something? Not sure yet. May I look? Don't see why not. Tell me if I should worry. Another part of the message. can I help you with? Ramesu said you found strange hieroglyphs in your house. Yes. I thought they were kind of creepy. I think someone else may have found the same thing. May I look? Sure. Go on and take a look. Looks like the same style. Perhaps part of the same message. Shemeni Nesu! May I ask you something? Hmm? Yes, what? Nehi found a strange symbol in his house. Like you. May I take a look? Certainly. He's new, yes? He'd be cute if he didn't look like he was always about to cry. Tell him I asked how he was. My name's Nebefa. <gasps> More of the message. That's the whole message. It appears to be a prophetic vision. Where is this temple? Hanichiru! <laughs> What did the priests hope to achieve in their last ceremony so long ago? What did the priests hope to achieve in their last ceremony so long ago? Some ancient concoction, long since dried up. Ah, the Lady of Slaughter. This place was dedicated to Sekhmet then. I thought Letopolis was home to Horus. Some ancient concoction, long since dried up. Hmm. A prayer. These men. They were white priests. Were they killed? Or did they choose this fate for themselves? Letopolis was sacrificed to the gods by the ancients, so the rest of the Nile could be granted to the realm of men. These priests made an invocation for protection to the one before whom evil trembles. In drinking their concoction, they gave their lives, as well as their city, to Sekhmet. In their eyes, Tahaka's project would be sacrilegious. Ah, oh, Bayek! I'm getting used to living with these symbols. Nebefe even came by for a meal. Did you find out anything? I did. Though I'm not sure you are going to like it. 
a curse. I knew it. No, not exactly. Letopolis was an offering to Sekhmet to protect the rest of the Nile. We have offended the Lady of Slaughter? No wonder the sands always blow. She wants to reclaim the city. Uh, are the officials blind or mad? I can't stay here. Maybe Nebefe will come with me. What about you? My time here is but temporary. You were kind to me when others were not. Maybe we will see each other again in this world. Would n <gasps> Alexandrians! We must stand against the sickness that's... Bayek! Finally, someone who appreciates my genius. My play has been confiscated. You are attracting trouble. Worse yet, they jailed my actors. All among the finest poets of Alexandria. They say if I attempt to put on the play, I will be put to death. Be careful, Fanos. You are frail and brittle. You stick to writing. And I will help you find your play and actors. Thank you. But there are two more of us. They escaped. Gennadios Philakitai seek to kill them. They also took the play and headed toward the palace. If it lands in the wrong hands, Thanos will be in danger. Do you know where the actors hide? They're home, not far from here. Don't worry about me. I'll find my way back to the theater. Time to go, young poet. Wait. Isn't there supposed to be two of you? Capanios? He fled and accidentally brought the guards to me. They hunt me like a dog. If you could deal with them, I can return to Phanos, and our masterpiece will go on. I'm sure that damn fool is around here somewhere. Maybe. <clears throat> Sensor has his work cut out for him. Today's bats was especially putrid. Perhaps Thanos the Younger should follow Socrates' path. Thanos the Deader, huh? <laughs> I hear Hemlock is very fresh this time of year. I Protect the Arcontas first! You did it, Bayek. Thank you. I never doubted you. Aya is a lucky woman. Yeah. <laughs> Aya always spoke highly of your place. She enjoyed my pro Cleopatra work. My pharaoh lady. Now we can perform this play like true poets. The guards may kill us, but it is an artist's duty to see his vision fulfilled. <laughs> I will write a play for you someday, Bayek. The last of the Magi. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. We'll change the names of the main villain, Ptolemy, and the title. We won't die, and the play will go on. <gasps> I need someone for one quick job. It's good. You, that insignia. You are a man of honor. There are so few remaining. I am a Magi. I solve problems. Good! I have one! A most precious treasure, which must be delivered today. You will be well compensated for your work. Here are some drachmas to start. This city is much more expensive than I'm used to. Good! It is settled. Follow me. 
The thing I ask you to do is of the utmost importance. Of course it is. Oh. Being a merchant is no simple matter, sir. I assure you, moving tiger skins or even statues is not easy work. Ah, these workers never when you tell them to be. As I was saying, you must be quick. Oh, and do not stray from your task at all. I will know if you have. This is all I have left since the flood. Seems you care a lot for your... cargo. I swear on her mother's grave she was sent from the gods to make Alexandria better. She? I have your bodyguard, Kara. Do not let this be a repeat of the last time, daughter. Wait, no, this hardly seems to be what you asked. Medjai, I will put drachmas down your throat as long as she is safe. And Kara, remember the reception tonight. You will be ready. Of course, father. I would not miss it. I am so happy you have come to assist me, sir. We will get you home fast. Do not worry. Oh, of course. Thank you, my boy. You look just like Heracles. Perhaps I'll call you my Heracles. Finally. Change of plans, Heracles. Who? No matter. Child, it's time to return you home. I will not go. Have you met the priests here? Dull. No, I must go to the central market. I heard of new Persian linens. I need them. Or what? I will scream, which will call the soldiers. Then, well, even if you survive, father will be quite angry. Anubis, take this city. Are you Sekhmet in disguise? Sent to test me. What was that? Nothing. Good. First, we must get my horse. She's been treated absolutely terribly without me around. <coughs> I simply adore this part of the city. So rustic. You can smell it in the air. They live a truly simple life here. Pegasus simply can't wait to be reunited with me. Oh. Of course, you named your horse Pegasus. Cheer up, bodyguard. We're here. <laughs> Young Miss, it's so nice to see you again. As you asked, she has been given new shoes. There now, was that so difficult? Now out of my pay. The deal was only to get you home, not to pay for your horse. I'm sure my father would not be pleased with you discussing this in front of him, horseman. Of course. Uh, I'll discuss it with your father. Oh, Pegasus. I know you missed me. Yes, you did, you beautiful creature. If only you had wings. Time to go, bodyguard. That is it. I am taking you home, <laughs> Princess Kara. Oh, all you big broody types are the same. Never let me have any fun. I should just leave you here. You're duty bound to deliver me, are you not? Who would know if I left? Your conscience would, of course. <laughs> Look there, bodyguard. Th that is where I had my first my discussion word. with a soldier. I am sure he was very grateful. We must stop at the market for more linens. I will take you to your house as your father bade, and nowhere else. Now lead on. You know, you are absolutely destroying my chances at getting the perfect linens. There are different kinds of linen? You are much more serious than my usual bodyguards. You can move faster, bodyguard. I have a name! Bayek. Ah, you do know my name. I remember all their names, you know. Whose names? The bodyguards. I send gifts to their families when I come. Gara, Gara. Yes? If we go find your linens, would you be happy? Really? Of course! Thank you, Bayek. You have an interesting stare. Thank you. Yeah. 
Los. Finally. Aha! Finally! These linens show some promise. Ah, it's so heavy. Would you help me? Bayek! Pegasus! They stole my horse! Stay here. Do not leave. It is done. Whoa there, girl. Hey, time to get you home. Your troublesome mistress will have missed you. Pegasus, huh? I like it. It suits a horse. I would like your spirit. Over here, Bayek! Hey, Papa, since Pegasus was limping, Bayek went to deal with her shoe. It was only gone a moment. Ah. I heard some commotion, but according to my little princess, you're the hero of the day. Can he always be my bodyguard? Please, father? How much does it cost to hire a Medjai permanently? I am here only a short while. Alas. Then allow me to grant you a hero's pay for a hero's service. The little ones are sleeping finally. Thank you for checking on them. May I Serapis wish... watch over them as Ah, the Serpent of Serapis. You have heard the tragic tale? Not the whole of it. Oh, it was a true masterpiece. The shaft wrapped with water-hardened leather. The blade hammered out of the metal of heaven. I would love to see it. Impossible. I crafted it for one of Apollodorus' captains when I lived in Saïs. But Sefeto's soldiers killed him. That is the reason I left. Sefeto? Yes, Sefeto the Firebrand, who governs Saïs with flame and fear. One of his bootlickers stole the spear that bears my mark. Outrageous. Can you not get it back? The man is beyond my reach. He sails on one of Sefeto's triremes on Mariatus Lake. Ah, I hate Apoli. My travels take me far and wide. If I come across him, I will look for your spear. I would love nothing more than to hear of his fall. If you manage it, the Serpent of Serapis is yours. This area is off limits. See anything yet? No. The spear is magnificent. Clearly the work of that master from Sao Village. The serpent of Serapis is a weapon worthy of the gods. 